Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. So today, well, actually, about a month ago, I made this purchase here. Anyway, so a lady I work on her stuff. She, I didn't notice until I was brush hogging one of her fields down that she had this sitting over in the corner. Her dad and them, her dad and her brother went together or something and bought it new. Her brother's not a big farmer or nothing like that, or doesn't really like planting the garden. And they only have like a 25 by 40 foot garden, so it's not that giant. I don't know why you would get this big of a tiller for it, but that's besides the point. But we have a King Cutter 2 all gear drive. Gear driven, sorry. Anyway, so what I look for when I buy a used tiller like this. But before that, so the lady's clutch went out on her tractor and long story short she just didn't want to mess with trying to fix that tractor anymore so she asked me if i'd be interested in buying this and i told her for the right price she wanted eight hundred dollars for it y'all all know what these things go for used once her dad passed away they picked it up with the other tractor set it over in the corner field under a tarp and that's where it spent its life for the last three years so i checked the gearbox oil's good check the side box all oh, everything looks good on this thing so what i told her i i put it on her other tractor and looked at it and fired it up and spun it everything spun smooth no weird sounds everything looked like in good shape so what i made to deal with her and she wants to plant a garden next year her little tiller's down so i made a deal that i would Put this track this tiller on my John Deere tractor, come back up and till her property for her or her garden, and I'd give her five hundred dollars cash. She said that was awesome because her other neighbor charged her more anyway. So it worked out good for everybody. I got a really good deal on this thing, and now I get to share with y'all what to look for when buying a used tiller. First of all, look at your bars here, make sure everything was in proper adjustment none of this is bent that will tell you a lot of the life of this the implement make sure all of this looks good here make sure everything's straight the way it needs to be make sure you look down these draw bars make sure you haven't run into something check and see if stuff is bent look over that stuff check the gearbox if it's oily looking then it's been sitting outside and you got a seal that's seeping and letting water in we i know i'll have to slip this clutch a little bit because it's been setting for three years check your check your u-joints like right here there is no play in this thing just a little bit of play it's supposed to have check that they actually took care of it and greased it the way they're supposed to which you can see there's a good amount of grease there so obviously they was anyway another wear option you can replace these tines. They're not that hard to do, but if you can get one that doesn't have beat up tines, I'll tell you why. Sometimes you get in a rocky situation where you can't fix it, and I mean, it's just going to be rocks, especially new gardens. But what you can look for is you can look to see how straight these tines are, where they connect into the ground. Look at your tines. See if they got big chips out of them like a lawnmower blade would. That will tell you the story of how your gearbox has been treated on these older tillers. Well, not old tiller, but I mean this is only three, four year old tiller because they only used it for a year and a half before he stopped, before he passed away and stopped doing his garden. But anyway, look at here. See how there's no big cuts out of these. Look at the wear shoes. See if they've been drug across really bad stuff. If they have, there won't be no paint left on them at all. As you can see, there's still yellow paint there. Check along your rail. Look to see, see this is just grass, all that's okay. Check to see if they cleaned it out. Check to see how the how tight they feel. Make sure nothing's loose in it. Check to see if there's beller twine or something. Just easy maintenance stuff like right here. You have a little bit of twine. You just have a little bit of it. So it's not a big deal. Like on the end, you have a little bit more twine. 
if it's big gobs of twine and stuff that's when you need to watch out because it's probably done sucked it into the bearings on each end of this check this shoe if it's all smashed up and like bent looking check your shoes if your shoes are all bent up then nine times out of ten they've drug it all across a lot of rocks check up in the chute norm i mean this ain't as you can see this ain't the thickest metal because you can bend it with your finger you can see big dents and stuff up there if they've chucked through a lot of rocks um another good thing to check on these is check the tailgate see if the tailgate's been bent up check the tailgate and stuff see if it's been bent up check your um, gear roll and all of that stuff check this see if they took the time to clean this stuff out it's all in what you can look for when buying a used tiller but anyway and this is all gear driving so you don't have to worry about it if you hear a weird noise it could be two things you have missing teeth in your gearbox or it's just low on oil and you need to fill it up so anyway oh yeah and also just check your pin i personally like this style of pin right here because all you do is just push over on it see i'm gonna get out of the light here all you do is just push over on it i can't get my finger turned far enough to push over on it there we go Just push over on it. See if it's seized up. See how dry your U-joints are. If it's all crunchy, then just know that's something you have to negotiate with. Nine times out of ten, if you see stuff sitting around and it's been sitting there for a while, they either, one, don't have the equipment to run it no more, or two, they just don't want to do what their parents or what their husband or what their wife was even doing. So you can find good deals if you just look around. So anyway, like always, this is Adam. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment if you would like. I will show you a running video of this. I did put this on her tractor and test it and listen to it and make sure everything was going smooth with it. But like always, this is Adam. Y'all have a wonderful day. God bless. If y'all have any questions or anything, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Y'all have a great day. God bless. I'll talk to you next time.